Hi, welcome to Social Research Insights. Today I'm going to give a very brief description to two microcontrollers and uh, and three programmers. This is in fact one of the one of my presentations of of my series of presentations on Internet of Things. In my future videos we are going to write the programs in order to work with the IOT kits or microcontrollers. I am going to use two different types of microcontrollers. The first one is the AVR microcontroller. The second one is the ARM processor or ARM microcontroller. The AVR microcontroller is also known as Edmel Edmega 328P PU. The, the, the figure which you are looking at right now is actually the, the photograph of the AVR microcontroller which is widely used in different IoT projects. The same programmer is also used uh, in the Arduino uh, UNO open source platform for the IoT. And this microcontroller has a total number of 28 pins and I'm going to show you the PCB, the schema of the PCB or the scheme of this microcontroller, the pin, uh, not exactly the schema, but the pinning, the pin structure of this microcontroller. Uh, if you look carefully, you can find a small notch as the upper portion of this microcontroller with a, uh, with a, with a circular, I mean the, a curvy uh, uh, structure. The this is actually serves as a, a reference point to recognize the pins of the microcontroller. Immediately to the left side of this notch we have the pin number one and the the sixth pin of the port C is going to start from the pin number one. And and the remaining uh, the pins of the port C are located between twenty three to twenty eight. And the second pin, from second pin, the port D is going to start. That you can see very clearly from here, the PD, which means port D, pin 0. And it's it starts from 0 and goes down along the left vertical of the microcontroller. And the second pin belongs to the first pin of the port D. Second pin of the port D uh, can, can, be, can be associated can be seen associated with the pin number three, two, three, four, and five. The the uh, the, the port D s uh, ends with six and restart with with pin uh, pin number eleven. From pin eleven, the port D is going to resume, and it continues till pin number thirteen. And from where fr uh, thereafter, port B starts the first pin of the B starts with pin number 14 and it continues from 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and from there it goes to uh, 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 it goes on and on ahead and the most important points perhaps is the, is the power source and ground so the pin number 7 and 8 serves as the and we need to connect the pin number 7 and 8 to the power the pin number 7 goes to the voltage source and 8 must be connected to the ground and in the same fashion pin number 20 also must be connected to the power uh, or voltage source and the the pin number 22 should be connected to the ground and uh, this is all about and each and every pin also has an alternative uh, I mean uh, the application. For example, if we look at the pin number one, which is the sixth um, pin of the port C, which serves as a reset point, which means we can connect a reset button to the pin number one. And the other important pin is the receive transmit. P pins are the receive transmit uh, that are uh, the associated with the pin two three. Pin 2 serves as a, a, a point for the receive, to, to receive the data. Pin 3 stand, uh, serves as a point to transmit the data. And there are, there are two pins 9 and 10 
and uh, that that can be connected to the external oscillators and uh, also the other uh, important uh, and the, and the 18 and 19 serves as the data transmission uh, uh, for uh, for a particular or uh, and peculiar context of master sl slave architecture pin 18 is master in slave out pin 17 is a point that serves as a master out slave in and in that way we can uh, so that's all all about like there are other so the so these are actually this is actually the short description to the to the AVR microcontroller and the controller looks like this and next one is the ARM processor and perhaps uh, I don't have the photograph of the ARM processor and that is not much difficult to find from the from the online and uh, this is actually a 48 pin uh, processor this is, a, this is the schema of the of a of a electronic module called STM32F103C8CB and the name of the processor is the LQFP actually it is abbreviation for low profile quad flat package and this is a, a special type of uh, processor uh, the the name comes from the the very shape of the processor and it has four sides sides that is why we call call quad flat flat means it is actually a flat processor and the the shape of the pins is also a little peculiar they will take a little curve and bend down and we just uh, have to pick up the four important pins from this processor and each and every pin has got its own special purpose but whereas we have to find the voltage source which is the pin number eight and a ground somewhere it will be somewhere i think uh, in this somewhere we can find the ground but anyway that is not that difficult to find out the pin for the ground and there will be there will be we need to find a pin for the receive this is i think pin number 31 is the is for the receive pin number 30 is for transmit and there is also mercy and miso uh, at pin number 28 and 27 and there are other point there are other there are two uh, USA or T which means US universal synchronous synchronous receive transmit ports each having two pins the USA RT1 it is RTS and RT CTS and the USA the left side we have USA RT2 CTS and RTS and there is also TX for for the for the USA and we should also have the TX for the USA RT it doesn't matter which is TX and RX but but anyway everything is distinct from this uh, the schema I think it, it, it must be having three ports, port A, B, C and it is actually a 32-bit uh, uh, processor each one of each port will be having 16 pins if you take port A the port A starts on the pin number 10 PA0 with PA0 and continues till pin number 17 and again resumes at pin number 29 and continues till pin number 33 uh, with uh, with a label PA12 I think we should also have pin because it's a 60 bit resistor we should have 16 pins this is A, A12 and we can find this uh, somewhere we can find uh, we can also find the 13, 14, 15 pins uh, just like uh, the port B B has for example if we come to the port B the port B starts from the pin number 18 with PB0 and it continues till uh, uh, and uh, the pin 20 is the port B2 and 3 is located at the, po the pin number 39 and 4 is located at the 40 and five, uh, I think the five port B fifth pin is 41, 42, sixth is 42, 43, and s and this is the PB7, 
and PB8 uh, e is 45, PB9 is 46 and 10 again 21 11th uh, the pin of the pro to B e e is 22 and 12, 13, 14, 15 here so there are 16 so it, uh, there are 16 pins for uh, for pro to B so the each pin has 2 bit uh, re re register which means 16 twos are 32 it is totally a 30 bit 32 bit processor so that way we can understand the 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 structure of the arm processor with the help of this schema and we'll be programming these two uh, microcontrollers with the help of three programmers the first one is going to be the ST-Link V2 the, the, this is the image of the ST-Link V2 it has a peculiar pin structure this is actually the output pin structure of ST-Link V2 the very first pin is going to be the reset second pin the serial wire clock and the third pin uh, single wire interface module SWIM and the fourth one is SWDIO which is the serial wire data input output and the fifth one is ground sixth one is ground seventh one is 3.3 volt uh, should be connected to the 3.3 volt pin of the microcontroller uh, this uh, 7 and 8 and uh, 9 10 goes to the 5.5 5, 5 volts of the microcontroller so we can just confine to either 3.3 or 5 so we just have to connect this 5 volt I in case if we choose to work with 5 volt module 5 volt along with ground and uh, and uh, and this uh, SW DIO so these three pins are are essential in order to transfer the program from the ST-Link V2 to the microcontroller and this is the pin structure this is the microcontroller which is inside the ST-Link V2 here you can see the name of the schema and we just have to pick up the the SWDIO which is pin number 34 here SWDIO which we, which we use to transfer the, the 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 code from the computer to the microcontroller the other two we can also work with the RXTX in case if we choose to connect to RXTX I mean receive transmit pins of the microcontroller we can we can search for those two pins somewhere here like pin number 11 and 12 USA RT uh, RT this is RTS this is RX TX is pin number 12 and RX is pin number 13 so 12, 13 in case if we have a microcontroller where we choose to transfer the data through TX and RX that way also we can use the so this Estelling V2 can be used in two different ways I mean uh, as per the type of the microcontroller we can choose to connect it to the connect uh, transfer the data either through the TX or TX or X or SWIO the SWIO is located at the pin number 34 and there also uh, we can also use uh, ST-Link V2 from the master sta slave uh, the, the modules with uh, th th that are connected in the in the master slave working environment so we have the 28 pin number 28 which acts as MOSI pin number 27 MISO so there are also clocks and VCC I and mean the voltage source is located at uh, 3 volts voltage source is at four f pin number 48 and um, we can uh, search for the ground somewhere somewhere we can pick up the the ground and ground uh, goes to ground and VSSA here you see that the common VSSA the voltage source is located at the pin number 8 and pin number 7 is the reset point and uh, and the boot pin is given at 20 and it goes like that and the same pin also serves as a ground pin number 20 okay this is actually the, the schema for the ST-Link V2 the other microcontroller is going to be the USB-SP 
this is actually the very old uh, microcontroller but most widely used uh, most of the time the USB ASP is used when we are working with the AVR microcontroller instead of ARM processor and it, it is also a, a, a QFP type microcontroller I mean USB ASP has a QFP type microcontroller inside um, this this has a this has an output pin, pin structure and I'm going to talk about this uh, these pins the names of these pins but first like, le let us look at the schema of this QFP uh, I think it has 32 pins let us count uh, them from the left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so 8 fours are 32 and the schema looks like this so we just have to pick up the voltage source which is pin number 4 ground pin number 5 and the TX or X and where is this TX um, somewhere I think we should be having this mm. we have the MISO and uh, here we have the pin number four which is which is TX is the, the this is actually the output pin structure one two three four five it has JT J tag output uh, connector and here you can see this is actually the the ten pins of this J tag link of the uh, USB ASP here we have the 1 2 3 4 5 just like the other side will be having the 5 pins together we have 10, 10 pins in total the TX is the pin number 4 of the JTAG that, is that goes to the, the th pin number 31 of the microcontroller so and the RX which is the receive that is connected to the pin number 30 of the microcontroller and 8, 10 are the ground and 5 is the MISO and 7 is the clock, 5 is the reset and again ground at 3, 1 is MOSI so this is actually the output pin structure of USB ASP and it is very simple but very uh, yet elegant uh, programmer to work with IO tickets and the last one is the U USB to TTL is also known as the USB to serial and it's a very simple but very tiny uh, programmer uh, but very efficient uh, programmer to transfer the program from the computer to the microcontroller and this is actually the pin structure I think uh, this is the 28 pin this is not QFP this is this is something else and it has a peculiar name for this microcontroller it has 28 pins and uh, and we just have to pick up the pins that which goes to the voltage source and ground and thereupon the RX and TX I think this microcontroller has got uh, this this programmer has got both uh, 3 and 5 volts vol voltage source here if you see the, the pin number 17 is actually the the voltage source of the the three volts goes to three volts and this is the ground for the three volts pin number 18 and the common voltage source for this uh, the programmer is the pin number 20 along with its ground located pin number 21 and now the 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 RX is going to be let me pick the the pin for the RX and uh, I think here we have the RXD pin number 5 is the receive and uh, pin number 1 is the transmit so 1 5 21 20 so these are the the four important pins that we need to take connect to the microcontroller with the respective pins located in the microcontroller in order to transfer the program from the computer to the to the IoT kit or microcontroller so these are the three important program programmers ST-Link V2 and uh, USB-ASP and uh, USB 
uh, to serial these are the three programmers which we are going to use to transfer the program from the computer to the microcontroller and and I'm going to use these two microcontrollers that is AVR and and uh, the the ARM processor okay so this is all about uh, the microcontrollers together with their respective uh, programmers and in my future videos I'm going to show you how to write the programs and transfer those programs with the help of these three my uh, programmers to both AVR and ARM processor so click like if you like my video and uh, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for the new content. Thank you. Thanks for watching.